it's the 11th of April, so it's just over three months until Tatton Flower Show. So just going to show you what we're starting with on our plot. So we're up at the patch, which stands for People Allotment, together with the community of Hool. And we've got our eight raised beds, which are nicely filled up, ready for planting a bit later in the season. And we've measured out today three by three metres, which is the size of the plot that Tatton Flower Show are giving us. So as you can see, it's full of weeds and grass and hardcore. So I'm just gonna try and dig it out, flatten it out a bit so we've got a good base to start from. And then the challenge of working out how to grow a garden and then transport it to Tatton in three months time begins. The greenhouse is looking fantastic. We've got lots of peas here uh, that EYFS planted and the plant pots that year three made from newspaper. And then as we go along, we've got some asters, oregano, some herbs. We've got some Brussels sprouts ready for later in the year to plant out. Uh, we've got lots of sunflowers giant ones and some smaller ones as well and wonderful marigolds here which will be fantastic companion plants for our beans and then if we go along the other side we've got some dwarf french beans some more giant sunflowers which we might be able to use at Tatton if we can get them there intact some borage to make some nice plant food later in the year uh, Oh, some more marigolds, which I'm going to let the year fives prick out so they can learn how to do that. And then, what have we got here? More asters, some nigella, some giant pumpkins, which are going to be amazing. We'll get some of those down at EYFS as well. Lots of flowers for our sea of tranquility, or our, or our troubled sea, rather, for our Tatton uh, Flower Show Garden. Some climbing plants. No idea how to pronounce that. Guardiailai, Guardiailai, I don't know. Um, some geraniums, sweet peas, little baby tomatoes, courgettes, lots of courgettes, some nasturtiums that we can plant alongside our veggies as well. Cauliflowers for later in the year. What have we got there? More tomatoes and broccoli, some lupins. Oh, some of Mrs. Watlin's cacti. Uh, more sunflowers. Oh, and then these little succulents that we rescued and have potted on the little babies. So hopefully they'll be good around our pond. Talking of which, oh, some runner beans there. The pond is now in progress. We've got the liner down. So just trying to fill it up a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Jones. <laughs> And get some of the stones and the rocks in. It's all coming together nicely. Come up in the towards the end of the Easter holidays now, so I'm just making sure all the seedlings have got plenty of water. Uh, things have come on a bit in the last week, so we've got lots more little green heads poking up. And we were just talking about the succession planting we're going to have to do for our sunflowers and marigolds because we need to make sure we've got lots of lovely flowering plants for the 21st to the 25th of July. So we're planting sunflowers and marigolds at two weekly intervals to make sure that that happens. So we've got here some lots of little marigolds ready for the pricking out by the year fives. And then lots and lots of pots of sunflowers, which look like they're drowning a bit, but they'll soon soak that up. Uh, and then over here again, some already pricked out marigolds. And oh, these are the little sunflowers that our tiniest EYFS children planted on the 30th of March. Uh, so we should have lots of lovely, bright, yellow, smiley faces ready for tatting. So we're creating the structure for the lighthouse. And at the moment I'm just fixing the tops with some plastic that we will remove but we're putting six of these straight as we can find 
willow stems. In fact, though that's got a bit of a bend there, we're going to end it nearly there. So that one can go in here. This is just a tricky bit, making sure that they all just stick in together so that we can start weaving. And then once we can start weaving the bottom, the structure will be sound enough and the children will be able to join in as long as I can get it between the things. So that's a bit too thick on the end. So I might have to try this one instead and come across to there. So we've got six uprights. We'll fix those into position and then start to weave around the bottom. It's always a little bit precarious at the beginning because it wants to wobble everywhere. But hopefully, once we've got them fixed, we'll be away.